Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are all surviving from election last night. Uh, it was pretty late last, late last night, uh, night for me as well. I can't even talk straight. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning. I know friends in US is morning right now. I know friends in UK could be afternoon. Yeah. I think Australia, uh, friends in Down Under. I think you guys are what? Pretty late at night, I believe. I think you guys are really early in the morning, so I hope you guys are <clears throat> surviving. Please let me know in the comment how many people watched the election coverage last night. <clears throat> That's very, very interesting. So we still don't know whose winners are. But <clears throat> meantime, we are going to make some coffee. And you know what? I think I'm going to make this morning's uh, my favorite drink, small latte, okay? So I have this latte cup here. So this is a smaller latte cup. I got from non neutral and uh, <clears throat> so that's what 10 ounce they do make 12 ounce but I mean this is way too big so so I got a 10 ounce cup so this is really really fun to use it's called indigo color okay so let's see I think I'm gonna this morning I'm gonna go <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna be using niche grinder okay let's use that and man I'm still tired from there was what a night, okay, what a night. We still don't know whose winners are. But anyway, I don't know you guys actually care about uh, election in United States, but for us, it's a very exciting time, okay. Okay. So I'm going to be measuring out 17 grams. So I'm using this morning uh, Guatemala beans from Good Brothers. Let's see here. So let's make some coffee. Definitely need it. Much need it. Much need a caffeine. Okay. So let's use my niche grinder. So actually, you know what? Hold on. Yeah. I got 17.1. You know what? Let's go exact. 17 gram. Hold on. 17.13 gram. I mean, if you haven't used niche grinder, I mean, this is really fun to use. It's a single dosing at a time, so. Meantime, I'm gonna get my cup ready. Uh, with the niche grinder, end of the grind you just you might want to shake it just make sure all the beans are going to come out so let's see i got the 17.13 gram in i got 17 gram out which means i got 0.1 gram somewhere okay i get a 0.01 gram if i'm going to shake it like so we're going to get the rest of beans out so it's, it's pretty accurate okay Wait a minute, someone mentioned to me my cup represents my color of my party. No, it's nothing to do with it. Because, so this is an indigo color from not neutral, so yes. I mean, it comes, comes to my political point of view, I'm pretty neutral, okay? Because I respect both parties. And uh, just like I respect you guys. Okay. All right, so with this, I need dosing funnel for this okay so let's use dosing funnel because this is 58 millimeter so it's not gonna fit on 54 so I got my 58 millimeter dosing funnel okay here we go I got my distribution tool going here I'm just gonna give it a quick temp Okay, so I'm looking for 17 in and like 34 gram out. Hold on, let's see here. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do put 17 and 34 gram out. So we'll see how it goes. 
Okay. Let's get some. Because a niche grinder is not the same as built-in grinder, so let's find out what kind of shot we're gonna get. Okay, you know what? You see that it's choking. Now it's coming up slowly. As you can see from there, too much, which means grinder is too fine. If you drink this, it's going to be extremely bitter. So, unfortunately, we have to redo it. So that's what happens when if you are using like uh, new beans. I just got these beans. I opened it yesterday, actually uh, two mornings ago. So, yeah. So it's gonna time out. So I got 17 in, like 17 out. So, goodness, that's a pretty long time there. Yeah. If you drink this, so again, it's gonna be bitter. So I'm just gonna uh, toss it for now. Hold on. So let's try again. Okay, so I'm just gonna flush. Okay, so let's try one more time here. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up here. So earlier, so my grinder setting around, let's see. Here, let me show you closer, close up there. So if, if you guys are thinking about getting niche grinder, so niche has different marks, okay? L unlike my mazo, has no marking on it. So with the niche does. So right now we are at around 13, as you can see from there. So as you saw earlier, the pressure is way too high. So I'm going to adjust, you know what? Maybe middle of the way, okay? Maybe 15, you know what? Yeah, maybe 15, okay? Let's do 15, about two notch up. So I'm kind of like, like middle of the road, slightly upper. Let's do 16. Yeah, let's do 16, setting for 16. So let's have a go with uh, this setting on this beans right now. So again, we're gonna do another 15 gram. I'm sorry, the 17 gram. Okay. So this is kind of like, you kind of like learn about the grinder setting for so this Guatemala beans because all the beans are different, uh, beans to beans. So that's something you have to, I don't wanna say learn, but get used to. So, okay, I'm just gonna do 17 there. 17, yeah, 0 0.06, yeah, so uh, close enough. Okay. shake and I did try the direct dosing to the funnel but for some reason I got a lot of static and I use like uh, it's called Ross droplet technique the RDD technique and didn't work that for some reason okay so let's so this is adjusted grinder setting hopefully we're gonna get a better shot at this okay All right, one more time here. Okay, so here we go. Earlier, first shot was pretty much way past one o'clock. This time is better. 
much better shot much uh, I, be, I got 28 seconds 20 28.5 gram okay I'm looking for 34 gram which means this shot is still the grinder thing is still fine you know what but I'm gonna take this okay since I'm gonna be making latte anyway so which means I have to grinder setting even higher for my niche but it's okay. I take 28 gram. Okay, for now. So this morning I'm gonna be using my oat milk. Let's do oat milk. Get my oat milk ready. Let's see here. Let's see, I got my where is my milk cup? Oh, it's on the flat door. Okay, hold on. My milk jug. This morning, I'm not that organized this morning for some reason. So. Let's see. So let's make some milk. So whenever I make milk, I just below the spout, inside there, just below the spout. So this is one downside of having a uh, Brista Express. You have to wait a little bit for steam, so. Okay, once pump kicks in, I'm just gonna, okay. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna steam the milk. Having that in the kind of tornado action there. Kind of a circular motion. Until your milk is nice and hot. Kind of rule of thumb is whenever you touch the bottom uh, of your milk jug with your hand, you cannot touch it anymore. So. So that's good time to do it. Good time to stop. I mean, if you have a like dual boiler machine, most likely, you know, you are done by now, okay? Because you can steam and pull the shot at the same time. Okay, so milk is almost ready. Just make sure having a wet paper towel ready. Just wipe it clean and flush. Okay, so let's do some latte art. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's try. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna try with just a plain uh, latte first, and then I might put some sugar in it. Hold on. Cheers. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'm gonna put some caramel. Let's put some caramel. I'm just gonna like to put one pump because one pump is equivalent to 10 gram of sugar. So if you guys are watching sugar content, you don't wanna to use too much. So here we go. Okay, it's much better. Okay, 
So again, so whenever you're dieting new beans, you have to make sure adjust your grinder size accordingly. Like you saw earlier, I'm pretty much about 10 grams short of my espresso, but the thing about that is you don't want to waste a lot of beans either. So if you're somewhat close, and you know, I use it anyway, but once you put milk and sugar, everything tastes wonderful. Okay, Dan, uh, Dane told me that, so Dane is one of my viewers, he, he sent me copy beans from Australia. No, we haven't, Dane, we haven't got the beans yet, so I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it says that it arrived. So I'm going to check it out, okay, I'm going to check out the, hopefully, I think you sent it to my work, I believe. So I'm going to check uh, when I get to work this morning. Okay, so coffee is good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do quick unboxing, okay? So I just got this yesterday. So this is what happens when coffee has become your hobby. You buy stuff from Amazon, especially you know, I I usually buy from Amazon. You just if you may, you may not need, okay? But I don't know. Let's see. Can you show the um, caramel bottle, please? Uh, someone asked me what kind of I use the Torani. So I, uh, I'm getting from a place called World Market, and it's about $9 per bottle. It's a really good price. Okay, so let's open this. I hope I can find a use for this. Okay, so this comes in four, comes with the four, okay? Uh, let's two black and two brown color. So let me show you what this is. Hold on. So this is kind of like, let me open it. Let me open the brown one. Okay, so let me show you. So what this rubber piece is, so instead of you're using your temp on your counter like that, you just put under this rubber so you don't get scratched, okay? Because obviously this is all metal, so you don't want to scratch the bottom. So pretty much it for that, or you can just use your temping tool, put there as well. You know, I'm just fits most uh, distribution tool and temp, temper, so again, I think, I mean, once you have the, this pad, if you have a bigger size pad, you know, you can just put on the top like that. But if, if you have a small pad like I have, I mean, so th this is not a bad option either, okay? I mean, they are simply cheap enough, so. So, so this is just kind of like, uh, just a rubber, small rubber mat there, roundish. Comes with the black and brown. I think I pay what? 10 bucks for it. So it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm going to shout out to Frank and Rusty. Rustic Rusty or something. Uh, he's one of my viewers. Uh, they told me how to calibrate this. If you guys have a G dealer scale at home. So let me show you how to calibrate. Turn the power on. Hold down the mode. Okay, the M for mode. And then you're gonna see calibrate. Press one more time. Okay, you have to put 500 gram weight in it. And they, it's going to calibrate for you. Okay, 500 gram weight. I mean, if you buy Akaya scale, they give you this 100, so Akaya scale requires 100 gram weight to calibrate. G dealer, 500 gram. So here's the catch. The 500 gram weight from Amazon, you are looking at $17. This scale is only about 15. So I, I rather not spend that five, what, $17. I don't mind, I'm up by 0 0.001 gram. So, I mean, it's all up to you, but for, thank you for the information. Yeah, you can actually calibrate this weight. So I didn't know that. So. Thank you for the great 
Tip? Those little things. Can you show them again? And then where did you get them? And what are they called? So this thing is just, okay. So I'm going to put the link down below. I'm done with it. So this is like the rubber mat for your temp, temper like this on the countertop. You may, you may not need it, but you know what? You figure only 10 bucks, so why not? So, uh, since I'm gonna take some to my work as well, so that's a lot better than put the, your metal temper on the counter for sure. So because you, you don't wanna, again, you don't wanna scratch it. So that's the key. Okay, what else? What else is going on? So I was planning on doing the big box I got a couple days ago, unboxing it, but I'm planning on doing that tomorrow morning. It's gonna be fun. I think it's, uh, I mean, it's gonna be fun. I, fun for me, but I don't know about you guys, but hopefully it's gonna be fun for you as well. I got unboxing coming and I got, let's see, few more boxes coming to my way right now. It's gonna be fun unboxing for you. I mean, it's all unboxing ideas, or the items, hopefully give you guys, kind of like give you ideas for like holiday season. And uh, you know, buying someone you love or by yourself as well. I kind of give you, I'm gonna try it out. And if there's something, you know, you guys might use it at home, at work, perhaps. Anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so sounds like you got some questions. Okay, so Dane asked me, you want to get into home roasting, which machine do I recommend? So the Genie Cafe versus Beemore 16, uh, Beemore, okay? I go with the Beemore. First of all, they are cheaper. And then they are, they, you can roast a lot more, okay? And uh, I think uh, Beemore, you can roast up to like kilogram, one kilo. Actually, yeah, I think so, yeah. I think we go up to one kilo. No, I'm sorry, uh, one pound, okay, one pound. And the uh, um, Genie Cafe, you can only roast about 300 gram or 400 gram or so, very limited. And then plus, the Genie Cafe is a small, okay, so you can put anywhere. But personally, I think more. I mean, Beemore, they got it down, okay, for the price base, the half the price. And I think I definitely look into Beemore more than Genie Cafe. But again, I mean, if you know something smaller size, Genie Cafe is also really nice as well. So, I mean, can't go wrong with either one, uh, either of them. They both give you great results. The next question: Have you checked the group head temperature of your machine using an IR thermometer? I was wondering if it works. Uh, let's see. Someone asked me about uh, my group head temperature with my infrared. I think IR means uh, infrared. I think. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah. Uh, I check it time to time. So if you warmed up for like 30 minutes before and then give you a couple of dummy shots, you're going to get pretty decent temperature out of it. So it's definitely worth trying. I mean, but here's the thing. I mean, mo most of us, we don't have a lot of time in the morning. I mean, just, you know, just to use the pressurized baskets and just get yourself a good black coffee and to go. Or you, you actually you can make you know, a good latte as well. So just to use a pressurized basket if you don't have time. Someone asked, by the way, I'm using Barista Pro. What's the grinder setting differences between Express and Pro? Okay, someone asked me about uh, the grinder setting for Pro versus Barista Express. Uh, Pro actually, even though internally it's the same grinder, but Pro give you more settings. I believe they go up to 36, is it 36 or 34? Versus 16 on this guy, uh, Brista Express. So uh, give you a more finer setting. So if you are looking for more setting, Brista Express Pro is a better option for you. But again, it's all about the, just number of the settings. So I mean, obviously more is better. With a the niche, there's no setting, it's more like infinite setting. So, and then, uh, so this is called step less grinder. So this is step grinder. Okay, what else? Um, someone says, Ikaya. Ikaya. Look, no, I-K-A-W-A. Looks like they make a nice home roaster, but very pricey. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, someone mentioned about, uh, it's called Akawa, I think. And I think they're like 1500 bucks for the coffee grinder. They're really fancy. 
but they are uh, they are air roaster. Okay, they are using the kind of like a uh, air popper to making kind of like air popcorn maker. So they use the air, hot air to roast the beans. Uh, again, they are really nice, small, beautiful to look at, but. I think I, I like the be more better personally because yes they're ugly but do the job only about three to four hundred dollars compared to 15 to what 12 to fifteen hundred bucks range so it's much better for for my lifestyle let's put it that way okay so let's see here any more questions I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far and then uh, I'm gonna be see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do be unboxing and maybe I my unboxing at work as well. Uh, let's see what happens there as well. And uh, let's see. By the way, so I got this decaf from Yes Please. It's not bad. I tried that again last night. Still has funny aftertaste, but I I don't know. Maybe I think that's part of the water. Uh, Swiss water process, I guess. But I mean, if you guys know uh, another coffee brand you guys recommend, please let me know. Okay, for the decaf, because I'm really looking for good decaf. Tastes like regular. So we'll see. Okay. So again, comes to grinder setting. I know a lot of you. Actually, most of you having Brista Express. So Brista Express is a very unique machine. So this, so this machine has a built-in grinder. Okay, I think DeLonghi does, but this is very unique, and they give you a lot of choice. Okay, yeah, actually, it's more like a lot of manual options. Actually, he added to the question. What? So my question is: Over time, does the coffee require a finer and finer setting, like over two weeks? Okay, someone asked me about the grinder setting for the beans. Okay, beans is changing. If you're using freshly roasted uh, coffee beans, okay? So this one is freshly roasted beans. Uh, let's see, October 28th. Yesterday grinder setting is not the same as today's grinder setting because they, they are keep continues to degassing and getting dried out, okay? That's why I uh, printed my uh, vacuum seal container. But if you are buying from store-bought coffee beans, the grinder setting day after day is not that changing much unless we are living in a very dry place. Once you, once you dry out the beans, obviously you need to find a grinder setting to uh, make a decent coffee. So is it again, uh, answer is definitely yes, okay? You may, it's not the same grinder setting first, first day and a week later, two weeks later, you might have to make some adjustment there. There's another question. Okay, we've got one more question. And that is, can we discuss the temperature in the cup versus when the water hits the grounds? I'm so used to my kettle being around 200 degrees, but when the water hits my cup, it's around 175. Uh, someone asked me about the temperature with water cup. Uh, that's why I warm up my cups before because once you hit, okay, the grip head coming up from water is around 200 degree, like 195 to 200 degree. Um, I said I did first already. And then once you hit the cup, if you're putting the cold cup, you are going to drop even more. If you are using the cold cup, and they go down to like, like you say, 170 or so. So the taste might be different as well. So that's why you got to do proper uh, warm up for your cup. Again, the thing is how much time and effort you want to put into your cup every morning, okay? I mean, I, I like drinking good coffee every morning. So, you know, I warm up. I take my time to make my coffee. But if you are busy, like I said earlier, use a pressurized basket and just in and out in about 10 minutes with a cleanup, not even. Okay, so what else? Okay, if not, I hope you guys are having a great morning. And then see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to do another unboxing tomorrow morning. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then uh, I hope. All right? Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. See you guys next time.